Fundamentals of Chinese 1, Unit 8, Dates and Times, Inviting Someone to Dinner, Understand It. Follow along in your book on pages 83 to 84, taking notes as we go along. Okay, it looks like Bai Ying Ai has bumped into Wang Peng, and they're going to have a conversation. And Wang Peng asks Bai Ying Ai a question. He says, Bai Ying Ai, Xian Zai Ji Dian. So, you know, Bai Ying Ai is our friend here, a girl, and you know Ji Dian is what time is it? So, this Xian Zai is typically how uh, a Chinese would ask what time it is. In English, we, we usually just say, you know, what time is it? But Chinese have the habit of saying, right now, what time is it? Xian Zai Ji Dian. They don't always use that, but it's quite popular to say it this way. Bai Ying Ai, Xian Zai Ji Dian. So, what does the whole sentence mean? Bai Ying Ai, what time is it right now? Bai Ying Ai, Xian Zai Ji Dian. Okay, Bai Ying Ai answers with the Time, Wu Dian, Yi Ke. So all of this Wu Dian in this E, you should know. Five o'clock and then one. Now we have this Ke. Ke. Ke is, uh, means quarter hour. So Chinese use this when they want to say 9.15 or quarter past nine or 9.45 or quarter to ten. They use this ke. Ke basically means quarter hour. So wu dian yi ke is 5.15. Wu dian ban is how they would say 5.30. This you've learned before. And wu dian san ke. Three of these quarters. Wu dian san ke would be 3.45. Now they never say wu dian liang ke. They always say wu dian ban. So ke is only used when saying quarter past and quarter two. Wu dian yi ke and wu dian san ke. So what's the meaning of our wu dian yi ke? 5.15. Wu dian yi ke. Okay, Wang Peng answers and says, Wo liu dian yi ke. Yo sure. Okay, so you should be familiar with everything here. Wo liu dian yi ke yo shar. Now, shi here, shi sounds just like the shi as to be. But you'll notice it's written differently because the meaning of this character has a different meaning. It means matter or issue. Uh, something to do. R is has no meaning here. R is just put on the back of some words um, in the Beijing dialect. The Beijing speakers like to put this R behind various characters. It's just their special way of pronouncing words. It really carries no meaning. So normally you would say shi. In fact, usually when I'm speaking and I say this shi, I just say shi. But Beijing ren, people from Beijing like to say shi. So wo liu dian yi ke you shi. Okay? Can you decipher the meaning to that? Pause if you want to to think about it. Okay, the meaning here is I, 6.15, have, and then here means a matter or an issue or something to do in this case. So an appropriate English translation would be, I have something to do at 6.15. 我六点一刻有事儿. 
Okay, if you remember the last lesson, Unit 7, uh, and if you can remember the what happened in that video and in that dialogue, then you may be able to guess what Bai Ying Ai is going to suggest to Wang Peng. So she makes a comment here. She says, Ni Jin Tian Hen Mang, Ming Tian Mang Bu Mang. Okay, so let's start with this Jin Tian. Jin Tian is the word for today. And Tian actually means sky. In, in almost every culture in the world, time or the passage of time or the recording or monitoring of time always involves the sky. Uh, the sun, the moon, the stars, etc. So this is why this character is in here for today. Jin Tian means today. So, ni jin tian hen mang, ming tian mang bu mang. So, what's going on in the back here? Ni jin tian hen mang, ming tian mang bu mang. Hen mang, hen mang, hen means very. Now, in Chinese, this very, hen, uh, is less strong unless it's emphasized. So, a Chinese may say, oh, I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. But it doesn't carry the same weight as if where, as if in English you say, I'm very hungry. In English you say, I'm very hungry, you're likely very, you know, you're starving. But in Chinese they just use hun more freely than we do. Now, how do you know if they really, really are hungry? They would emphasize it. They would emphasize the hen. Mang means busy. Hen mang. Hen mang. Very busy. So you should be able to decipher uh, this part. Ni jin tian hen mang. And then the second part you should be able to pull apart as well. Because you'll notice here you have a word here that has this tian in it. Just like jin tian. So here's the character for sky again. And here's the character for mang. And here it is again with a bu in the middle. And it's a question. So something funny is happening there. Let's take a look. Okay, if you guessed, ming tian means tomorrow. So jin tian is today and ming tian is tomorrow. Ni jin tian hen mang. Ming tian mang bu mang. Question. So you should be able to decipher this part here. Ni jin tian hen mang, ming tian mang bu mang. Okay. So mang bu mang. Mang bu mang is another way that Chinese ask questions. So Chinese, in this case, they'll take an adjective and they'll repeat it with bu or no in the middle. So literally this is saying busy not busy. And you put a question mark after it. Busy not busy? So in the simplest translation is are you busy? Ni jin tian hen mang, ming tian mang bu mang. So you should have the meaning of this now. But let's take a closer look at this um, uh, construction here. Not only will they do this with adjectives, but they'll also do it with verbs. So, for example, you know, shi can mean yes. So, Chinese often say, shi bu shi. Yes or no. Yes, bu yes. Yes, no, yes. So, it kind of means ours, yes or no, or really, in English. Here's an example of a verb that you've learned. This means to ask. So you could say, ni wen bu wen. And the meaning is, are you going to ask? Uh, you know the word hao means good. Hao bu hao means, is it good? Or more literally, is it good or bad? But in English, you could just simply translate it as, is it good? Hao bu hao. Here it is with a verb again. Chi 
you remember ch means eat. Ch bu ch. So the translation is are you going to eat it? Or are you going to eat? Ch bu ch. You've learned the word like, xi, the verb like, xi huan. Xi huan bu xi huan. Do you like it? Or, or, yeah, do you like it? Here we have da bu da. Is it big? So coming back to our sentence, you should have the meaning for this down now. Ni jin tian han mang. Ming tian mang bu mang. So what is the meaning of that? You are busy today. Are you busy tomorrow? Ni jin tian han mang. Ming tian mang bu mang. Now, why do you think Bai Ying Ai is asking Wang Peng if he's busy tomorrow? Can you guess what's coming? You remember that Bai Ying Ai and Gao Wen Zhong just made an arrangement. So this sentence you should have no problem with. Um, you've learned all of this. This you just learned. Yo sure. You just learned this a couple slides back. So, 我今天很忙,可是明天不忙. Yo sure ma. So what do you think that means? 我今天很忙,可是明天不忙。明天不忙. Yo sure ma. I am busy today, but I am not busy tomorrow. What's up? So this what's up here is like what's up as in what do you want or what's going on? What issue do you have? What matter are you trying to address with me? It's not what's up as in how's it going? In English we use what's up in two different ways. We use what's up as a greeting. Hey, what's up? It's really, hey, how are you? We don't really expect anyone to answer what's up or how are you. It's just a greeting. But then we also use what's up. For example, hey, are you busy tomorrow? No, uh, what's up? What's going on? What do you want? Why? So it, it, Yo shuma can mean what's up in that sense. Yo shuma, is there some matter? And then here's the ma for the question. Is there some some matter, something going on? Okay. I'm busy today, but I am not busy tomorrow. What's up? So you should know what's up tomorrow based on the last lesson. Let's see. Ming tian. 我请你吃晚饭,怎么样? So all of this you know. Take a pause if you want and take a look at this sentence here. 明天我请你吃晚饭,怎么样? So this 饭 you already know. But this 晚 you don't know. 晚 is the word for evening. 晚饭 is the word for dinner. So you can actually separate out, take out this fan in wan just means evening. Wan fan is dinner. Um, so we have ming tian wo qing ni chi wan fan yang. So you should be able to pause if you need to and put the meaning of this together. What does it mean?